These are the Coleman Hypic Camp Mats, an affordable 10 centimeter thick mattress that's gonna give you a good night's sleep when you go camping. Let's check them out. Hit it. FX Ben from Snow is here today with the Coleman High Peak Self Inflating Cam Mats. This is another contender in the 10 centimeter high square sided mats here that are giving really comfortable night's sleep for campers all over the country. Coleman have got this available in two sizes, a single and a double, with a single being about 200 centimeters long and about 68 or 70 centimeters in width, and the double being also 200 centimeters long and 130 centimeters in width there. And weight wise, about 2.7 kilos and 5 kilos. Now the mat comes in a, a bag that doubles as an inflation aid, which we'll tell you about shortly, but the single packs up to about 75 centimeters in length and roughly 25 centimeters in diameter, depending on how tightly you roll it up. And it does fit back in this bag easily. Same story with the, the double here. Uh, it's about 70 centimeters in length when it's packed up uh, and about 40 centimeters in diameter. Once again, also fits inside, back inside the bag easily. And each mat comes complete with some Velcro straps here to secure it. So once you've rolled it up, you can wrap these around. There. There's a little um, D-loop there. You can wrap these around there to secure it and then slide it back in the bag. Before we go on to the how to use these uh, and um, the valves on the end, I'll talk about the materials now. There's a polyurethane foam inside it. It is cord. There are cords that run from one side to the other right through the mat here, about every 20 or so centimeters, just to lighten the mat up a little bit. They don't have an R value for the mat here, but it is going to be a nice warm mat being 10 centimeters thick and it's all full of open cell foam. It's going to give you pretty good insulation even for winter camping. The material is polyester on the outside. So this top one, it's not a brush finish, but it is, it still feels kind of nice. It's not, not um, sort of soft, but it certainly doesn't have a plasticky feel to it. The sides are just a little bit stretchy, just to allow sort of a bit of movement in the mat here. And the bottom is a slightly, feels a little bit more plasticky or slightly more durable um, fabric on the bottom there for protection while it's lying on the tent floor. Now I'll show you the valves that come on the mat here. So looking at the end, the single, the single mat has got a single valve, the double mat's got a double valve. Now these are two-way valves. If I open this up, I'll show you that inside here, there is a valve that at the moment is allowing air in but not out. So if I squeeze this mat, there's no air coming out. I can spin the little thing inside around and you're gonna hear, hear air puff out. It's now allowing air out, so full deflation mode. And then if you spin that right around, that's what well, they call this deflation mode. What that does is allow air out, but it doesn't allow it to suck back in. And what that means is as you're rolling the mat up, you're pushing air out. And if you sort of pull your weight off the mat a little bit, it's not going to suck the air back in. So you're constantly pushing air out of the mat. It means you can roll it up twice. So do a quick roll up once, squeeze most of the air out, unroll it. It's not going to inflate by itself. Roll the mat up again. It's going to get it smaller and smaller each time you do it. Now in terms of how to inflate the mat, when you get them from new, the foam has a memory of being really squashed down and it will sit flat like this when you get it out of the box or out of its bag. We've actually taken these out of, uh, of the bags from new this morning and I used the inflation aid here to force air into it and get that foam inside to expand up. That's now just after probably less than eight hours, allowed the foam to expand to the state that you see here now by itself. So when you get them from new, undo this valve, Use the bag to inflate it, which I'll show you shortly, and leave it sit for a while so that foam expands out. From there on, when you set it up at camp, if you unroll it from the bag, undo the valve, it should be a few minutes for it to get to the stage that this is at now where it's soft. And you can then use this bag to add some extra pressure into it to make it to your pref preference of how tight you want it to, to sleep on. So to inflate this now, we spin the little valve around inside there so the air can go in, but not come back out again. We grab our stuff sack, we grab the single one. Now this is just a roll top stuff bag here and it's seam sealed inside, so it's airtight. If we go to this end of the bag, we've got this little port here that clips into this valve here. From there, if we just make sure this isn't twisted, we open up this end of the bag and puff some air in. You can just sort of flap it around or blow some air inside to try and trap as much air as you can inside the bag and then close this up. So that's about half a bag of air there now. So from here, if I gently just roll this up, I'm now forcing the air from here through the valve and into the mat here. 
I can then squeeze as much air as I want in to make this as firm as I would like it. So I'll just keep going to make it quite firm there now because I'm going to sit on it shortly and show you how tight that is. So that feels pretty good to me now. That's quite firm there, maybe too firm to sleep on. I can now take this off of here. And because of the one-way valve is allowing air in, but the little uh, yellow flap in there is stopping the air from coming out. I'm not losing air at the moment, but I can do this up just to make sure that that air stays in overnight. And that's the mat pumped up. I'll just have a bit of a sit on the mat to show you how comfortable it is. We'll put the double aside. Now, once again, this is to be pumped up to your own personal preference. So. I probably prefer the mat to be a bit softer than this when I sleep on it, so I sink in it a little bit. Some people like a firm mat, so if you go softer, obviously there's more chance of you hitting the bottom, but the benefit of having a 10 centimeter mat is that you can play around with that um, firmness of the mat, so you've got a little bit of play, or a little bit of room to move in terms of how far you can sink into the mat. If I sit on this at the moment, if I just put my weight straight down in one spot, I'm not touching the bottom there now. I'm not the heaviest of person, I probably weigh about 70 kilos, but even bouncing up and down, I'm only just touching the bottom there. So quite comfortable. You can adjust the pressure in the mat here if we come up to the valve end here while I'm on the mat. We just push, twist the valve around just a little bit, just so you can hear the air just coming out. It's gonna slowly deflate the mat until it suits my comfort. So I'm gonna keep letting a bit more air out. You can hear that hissing now. I can feel myself sinking down into the mat. I twist that valve around inside to seal the air off again and do the end up. And that's now much more comfortable. If I sit like this now, I can touch the bottom. I'm not hit bottoming out really hard because I've got all the foam underneath me, but I am hitting the ground there, but that will be much more comfortable to sleep on. It's pretty much all the features of the common high peak self-inflating camp mat. They're an affordable way to get a comfortable night's sleep no matter where you set up camp. You can grab online at snowies.com.au at our lowest prices every day. Got any questions, let us know down in the comments below. Subscribe to our channel for all our latest information or check out some other videos like this one down here.